Are you ready for me to blow your minds? Why am I Jesse the Body Ventura? You guys remember the best wireless mouse on the planet. Two batteries, see? This is the G603. <laughs> we haven't changed the battery in like the last year. It's been used on the, the couch. Uh, nice design. Well, Logitech has decided to go smaller, more portable, lighter weight. This is the G305 from Logitech, under 100 grams, one battery, 250 hour battery life at one millisecond response time using their light speed technology and the Hero Sensor with a side of slaw. Or you can get fries if you want. So they modified the 3360 sensor and made it ridiculous. They, they called it the 3366 sensor when they first started using it because uh, they, they always modify things. They've got the craziest R&D team on the planet. Anyway, they modified this one and created the light speed sensor. All they really did was make it 10 times more efficient so that they could use it with their wireless light speed technology. I also wanna say something about the, the light speed technology, guys. Uh, we've used this for about a year now um, with some of their different products and I have detected zero lag. They say one millisecond, uh, you can change it on the bottom uh, here. You can change it from one millisecond to, to eight milliseconds to elongate your battery life from 250 hours to about three times that. They say it should last you like eight, nine months. And then when it gets down to 15%, it'll start blinking red. So you'll know, hey, I've only got a few days left on this thing, or I don't know, maybe 15%, maybe another month. The whole idea with this is extreme gaming performance because of the sensor, the hero sensor. Uh, no mouse acceleration or anything like that. Portability and no wires. So if you guys are arguing about like braided cable versus, you know, regular cord, no wire maybe. Now, as far as the mouse itself goes, it is a very simple, uh, it's kind of small. I'll get to the overall dimensions in just a second. It's kind of small for bigger hands, uh, but it's really good for claw grip and works really well for palm grip thanks to the shape of it. Just a very standard shape. Not a lot of bells and whistles, not a lot of nonsense, which I'm actually happy with. It's really a performant mouse for FPS and stuff like that, and just only what you need. Now you've got two buttons on the top here. The scroll wheel is very satisfying, has a rubberized coating on it, and it also depresses as well. Behind that we have the DPI button, or the CPI button, you can call it whatever you like. On the side here we have two thumb buttons, and it's going to be a right-handed mouse even though they could have put two more buttons on the other side and made it an ambidextrous mouse because it doesn't really have a right-handed shape. So if you're if you're a lefty and you're really good at pressing the side buttons with your, no, it's a right-handed mouse. I guess they didn't want to spend a, they make you guys spend any more money. Oh, did I mention it's 59 bucks? Should mention that. All right, let's get down to business with the overall specs. Now, the dimensions on this thing, 4.6 inches by 2.5 inches by 1.5 inch depth and then it weighs 3.42 ounces or 99 grams. In millimeters, 116.6 by 62.15 by 38.2. So the depth in the middle there, the, the highest point, it doesn't have a really big arc in the back, um, but that's gonna be 38.2 millimeters right there in the middle. Now, I tried you know, quite a bit of this with uh, different grips. It works kind of, in my opinion, the best with sort of a, I guess, between somewhere between claw and palm grip. Palm grip works just fine. It, it, all the grips seem to work really fine on this mouse because it's not really complicated as far as the shape goes. Now, as far as the uh, Hero sensor goes, it goes from 100 to 12,000 DPI or CPI, either one you want to call it. They're both the same thing. And you guys can go into the software and set the different, uh, I guess, all the different steps here on your button. And you can save that to the mouse so you can just take it with you and not worry about installing the software. I like that it has some internal memory here to save it. Sensor settings are about the same as the 3366. I'm talking 40 G's acceleration, uh, 400 IPS, which are basically the frames a second or the images per second, not the frames, the images per second as you're moving around. And it's really, really hard to mess with this mouse. It, it, it passes the slam test on the, on the desk for you guys who are doing that. Uh, spinning really fast doesn't really mess with it. If you need something with no acceleration, you're just fine with this mouse. It's really one of the one of the uh, most flawless sensors on the market, so it's impossible to complain. And the only thing people are going to complain about are the people who haven't used this mouse. They're going to start complaining about the wireless, but that's because they don't know what they're talking about. This wireless um, will support a thousand hertz pulling rate and one millisecond response time. It is as fast as a cable. That's it. It's as fast as a cable, guys. It's their own technology, the Lightspeed Custom 2.4G technology, and it's freaking fast. Also, there's a 32-bit ARM processor in here. The left and right button here are 10 million click, and here's how it sounds. I'm, I'm just messing with all kinds of stuff on the screen. And the center button. Scroll. 
And here are the side buttons. I just look at the bottom here. You'll notice we have five feet. So not only are there the feet around here, there's also a little round foot in the bottom just to really round it out. And um, I, I, I guess it helps. It's hard for me to tell if it helps or not, but it's nice to have. They also said, was it 250 kilometers movement on this thing? That's, that's a lot of movement. That's a lot of FPS gameplay right there. You could set your your CPI to like 400 and just go crazy. Like, oh, I'm trying to turn around. You can do that for two weeks. No, we're a little bit longer than that. Yeah, it's it's pretty solid. It just It's just simple plastic and it's really lightweight. And you got the one battery in here. Um, and even with that 99 grams, so it just, it's just all plastic. Now, one thing that I will say about having it, you know, all plastic, it's um, it's going to last a really long time. The rubberized coating and stuff can tend to come off after a few years, uh, depending on the type of coating they use. But just having it all plastic like this means that there's no coating to rub off, and it should be just fine for a very long time. So I really like gaming with this thing. Uh, it's it's going to be a little too small for some of you guys out there. I don't mind a small mouse. Uh, and the other thing is it's somewhere, uh, since it's not like as huge as some of the some of the other mice out there on the on, on the planet um it's gonna fit just fine in your backpack and you know after you store all your settings on here there's a spot under here where you can store the usb dongle throw it in there and take it with you good for land parties good for laptops and that sort of thing also if you guys want to position your dongle you got this cord here handy dandy little cord with a stand you can position it wherever you like so yeah guys this is one of the better mice that i've seen not many things i can say negative about it it hits the the right price point for being wireless so if you're looking for a wireless mouse but the other ones have been like out of your price range this is a good place to look uh the sensor's flawless it feels really good in games and um the software is minimal and clean and lets you store stuff here so i'm trying to think of something i don't like about it it's it doesn't feel quite as solid as the other one but it's still put together really nicely i don't know it's just a 59 dollars mouse that's nearly perfect that's what it is. All right, if you guys have any questions, uh, check the comments below. Also, head over to the store, grab a t-shirt. Maybe you'll need a mouse pad to, to, to play with this. Maybe you need a keyboard, I don't know. We'll see you guys over there. Uh, bye. Yes.